Today, I want to share with you my experiences of how I got over my fear of public speaking. And I have to give thanks to two stories in my life. One was the very first time I spoke in public, well, something that really mattered to me. I was in high school and I was invited to talk about my experiences growing up as an Asian American during the Asian Pacific Heritage Month. And there were maybe around 100, I don't know, 150 people in the room. And I was given time to practice, of course, but I do remember that I did not practice. And I remember that day before I went up on stage, I never felt this way before. My shoulders started bouncing up and down. I would, go, I would walk back and forth. This is what happens to me when I got nervous. And my, my, my hands started sweating and I, did, I, I didn't know why. And this was the first time I felt um, butterflies in my stomach. But instead of butterflies, they felt like screws turning in my stomach. And I just remember going up on stage but I forgot everything else after it. All I remember is now I have the certificate of my participation in that event, and I am proudly hanging that certificate up um, in, in my parents' house now. So the second story of what really helped boost my public speaking confidence was during college. I entered this public speaking competition and it was for money, of course. And I'm like, oh, I got to win that money. I'm a broke college student. I was about to graduate. And so I remember practicing at the church. The, the event was held at the church. And I was practicing at that church till 2 a.m. for a whole week leading up to that event. And something magical happened when I was practicing. I felt like I could be myself. I was practicing and I was saying uh, my speech all the way to the end of the room, even though no one was there, I was pretending the room was full of people. I was saying the same sentences over and over. For example, I would go, hi everyone, this is, if I didn't like it, I would say, hi everyone, this is, so I would do it over and over. My body language, my vocal variety, how I would say that sentence, how, how it felt. And when I got on stage that day, the words were just coming out. Have you ever felt this before? You've gotten into the zone? That's what happened to me. Time slowed down. I was able to look at the audience, like actually look at them, look at the expressions, like one by one by one. At the same time, my body language and the words were just flowing out. I practiced it so many times that the speech was in me and I was able to experience the, th that experience at that moment. And I never felt that way before because I felt like I can just close my eyes, open up my arms and still be okay. I was vulnerable. And that feeling, it was that feeling of confidence. That's what I actually wanted more of. So after that experience in that competition, I did, I did win by the way, which helped boost my confidence. But it was that experience of, hmm, I practiced it so much, I've gotten into the zone. I wanted that experience more and more and more. So every single time I got into a class, my mindset actually started shifting to, hmm, I'm doubting myself, to, hmm, how can I get better as a speaker? Or, or thinking, oh, there's another opportunity for me to practice my public speaking. So whenever there was a chance to speak, I felt, this is the change now, I felt that even if I did not raise my hands, it's okay. But if I wanted to raise my hands, I can speak and give my opinions. Before I was thinking, hmm, should I raise my hands? Should I not raise my hands? What do I have to say? Now again, it's, hmm, if I don't raise my hands, it's absolutely okay. Because I know if I want to contribute, I am confident in my opinions. I know how to back up my opinions. I'm confident in what I am saying. Even though if I'm not making sense, I'm confident in that. I started joining Toastmasters. After Toastmasters, as you can tell now, I teach public speaking and communication skills because I fell in love with public speaking. And I hope that you can fall in love with public speaking as well because I know you might feel that public speaking is that, those butterflies in the stomach, but it's that feeling, go for that feeling, right? Sometimes people don't even take a breath. So I hope that my love of public speaking can transfer over to you. But again, I had to do public speaking not once, not twice, but a few hundred times, right? Actually, a few hundred times to get better. Now, I know that sounds really painful, but it's like working out in the gym. I was listening to Arnold Schwarzenegger one day, and he said, hmm, everyone in the gym, they have all these... Uh, 
you know, sad faces and angry faces when they're, when they're lifting weights, but people actually come up to Arno and they say, why, why are you smiling when everyone else is so sad? And you know what he said? He said, I'm imagining myself holding a trophy because every single time he lifts those weights, he actually enjoys what he's doing, right? That is more important than getting something done. For example, a lot of people go to the gym because they feel like they have to, but the people who love to go to the gym, it releases stress for them. They enjoy it. So I hope that you can find the same thing with public speaking because to me, when you speak in public, you can unleash your creativity. You can feel vulnerable, which is something hard to do, but you can share your opinion. You can impact lives. You can make more money. You can really tell people um, what you believe in and you can impact their lives for the better. So public speaking is just not a, a, a boring presentation. It's what you have to offer to the world. It's how you can help people change their lives, right? Every single time you speak in public, you are there to change lives and you are there to share your opinions with others. So I would love to hear, maybe you are still a little bit hesitant about public speaking. Tell me why in the comments below, right? Or maybe you've gotten over your fear of public speaking. Share your comments and I would love to hear, hmm, how did you get over your fear of public speaking? And if you liked any part of my stories and what I have to say, let me know which parts because I, I usually like to get feedback as well. Again, this is Kit Pang, the founder of Boston Speaks, and I hope that you liked this material today. And if you do, please subscribe. I'm always here to help you improve and master your communication and public speaking skills so you can create more impact, make more money, and just enjoy life. Bye-bye.